All right, here we go with the watch this video for Monday, July 24th. Uh, the SPY, really, really low volume today. Uh, man, the action out there is fairly terrible um, as far as finding any setups. The good thing is uh, having a set of rules in place and making sure that there's, you know, there's good setups. Um, if you have a set of rules, it keeps you out of trouble. I see people over trading all the time in this environment and it's a low volume chop fest. Um, so you really, really want to be careful out there. Um, having said that, I called CLF today. So there's the spy, uh, real quick. I called CLF today. We had it on the watch list. It actually gapped up today and it looked just like this when I called it. So I noticed that it hit 1053. It hit 1053 again. Looked like it was a double top. And next thing you know, the very next candle before I show you was right back up. So I got on the microphone and said, I like this. As a high of day break, 1054. I wouldn't give it more than a dime, I believe is what I said. So there's a the trigger, 1054, stop a dime below, and it never looked back, never looked back to the entry and ended up going to um, 1131, which is a pretty darn nice uh, profit um, on, on 10 cents risk. So the R factor was really good on that one. And it's kind of indicative of the kind of market we're in. I mean, the, what you'd call more, uh, more thick stocks like CLF are the ones that are giving decent setups and the low price, low float stocks that I make a pretty good living off of as a general rule aren't really giving any setups right now, which is fine because it's just keeping me out of them. Um, so that was a nice call. And I got an email today. Somebody sent me the screenshot. Uh, this is one of our members. Uh, that was their P&L going on today. And that was uh, the, the text from the email said, thank you for CLF. Another great day. Uh, you saved me so much time and money. You also, you've also armed me with the tools to spot BS. They actually wrote the word out, but I don't want to say that in a video. Um, eternally grateful. So I always love emails like that and very proud of that because I know there's a lot of uh, rooms out there that just call some BS trying to get people to pile in so they can scale out and then make a video bragging about their gains while they know most of their members lost. So we absolutely do uh, strive to teach people how to trade. And I showed this in last night's video, but I'm going to slide it over again because the best time I can convey my messages is during these uh, watch list videos. So this was also sent to me, the lifetime membership, best investment I ever made. They can only trade two days a week, as you see there, Monday and Tuesday, 9 to 11, and they've been steady green. And the reason I point that out is the lifetime membership isn't available on the site, but the link below this video does take you to um, a free upgrade from the one year to the lifetime membership. And the beauty of it is, if you can only if you can only log in one day a month during the week, or when the market's open, it's still worth it because you never have any more payments to the the room and, the, and the, you won't believe the price. Dirt cheap, uh, price of a one-year membership, which is already lower than most of the, what I would call, um, I don't know, the rooms that teach people to chase. So anyway, we actually do look out for you. And uh, an announcement to all of our members who have taken the course, I'm gonna do this, I did this in last night's video too. We have our next continuing education class. There's no, no cost for this. Uh, August 25th, it's gonna be a Saturday morning. There's the info right there. And if you haven't taken the course, I said this in uh, this weekend video too, do not go to the page and sign up. If you're already a chat room member, uh, we have a big discount for you, as we always do for our chat room members. So, um, but this is, yeah, and then you can, you'll have time to take the course and you'll be ready for this continuing education class, which you have till August 25th, okay? So there, that's my announcements. Um, back to the SPY, uh, it's, it's still hanging out right around this 280 area. And here's what I'm watching for tomorrow. I don't love this, but VKTX kind of had a nice pop on Friday and today kind of a quiet inside day. So we're still gonna look for a possible long in that one tomorrow, no trades in it today. Honeywell, really nice reversal. We had this on long watch. Look at the intraday here. Um, just chopped sideways and then straight down and took the rest of the afternoon. It's kind of indicative of how cruddy the market is. You know, straight down, takes the rest of the afternoon to get back up and by the end of the day, it's taken out highs for the day. Certainly looks good over this two day high for a continuation play. So that's H A H O N. That one's on watch. M A R A. This is just one of those low priced um, crypto plays, but it's it's actually got a decent chart. You had nice volume here on this spike up over a couple days. It took it to a dollar thirty five, and it's really kind of flagging. So you know, keep an eye on Bitcoin itself. If that gets going, um, M A R A is a pretty clean way to play that, in my opinion. M I C R. I hesitated on putting this on the list because again, the low priced, low float stocks aren't really tradable right now they're, they're terrible but this is a big volume you know day for this stock and if you go to intraday you can see that most of that volume came right here near the end of the day so um there might be something it had news 
And the news sounded decent, but look at the daily candles. It looks like somebody dipped a paintbrush in a can and then swung it at a black canvas. I mean, these almost don't even look like candlesticks. So that's why I hesitated to put this on watch. Um, it's a very thin stock, but if the news, you know, spreads around and people start to like it, there might be a trade in it. Um, it's kind of my sleeper pick for tomorrow. Remember, I'm a day trader, so I only take trades that give me a nice intraday setup, right? Um, but I always start with the daily chart, and that's what these videos are all about. MTBC um, had a spike back here, which was in, uh, what, October of 2017. That took it to 544, lower high. Then it takes this lower high out right here briefly. And then really kind of coiling, right? Just kind of putting in a long flag and then breaking this lower high this week, uh, last week. And now you've got two days that it touched the whole number five. So this one actually is interesting, over five bucks. Maybe, and then I believe this is an all-time high for the stock. So if we break through five, yeah, let me try that again. If we break through five, we might make a run at this 544 and uh, maybe, you know, get the new all-time highs after that. Um, remember what I said, though, about the thinner low price stocks right now. They're not acting very well. FORD had this big volume day back here that took it all the way to 274, settled in, kind of riding the 20 day here and trying to break out. Really didn't have much extra volume today on this breakout of this range. So, but I do like the fact that it kind of topped out right below two. So maybe through two tomorrow, I'm gonna watch that one. Pixie um, actually had a nice day today, but it almost, you know, from this pop back here, it almost and maybe did round trip, but a nice candle today. Here's the five minute candle. So at a really strong close, that was enough to say, to make me say, hey, I'm gonna watch this one tomorrow, see if it gives a setup. NBEV uh, really has trouble with the 200 day back here, here, and here, but you have two basically equal highs here, right around 241, which is right at the 200 day. So if it gets through that on some volume, it might just break out. So I'm gonna watch that one. A um, couple more. CUR, nice volume day today. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, closing well off its highs, so it went all the way to 159 and closed at 139. So we'll see if it gives a red to green or something like that. And then RWLK had that big day on Friday. Gave back a good chunk of that today on much lower volume though. So I'm gonna look at it tomorrow and see if it gives a low risk setup. Sometimes you get the big pop, then a red day on lower volume, and then you get what I call a third day play where it rips again. So it goes on watch, but uh, you know, who knows? It's not a great trader. Um, I'm not in love with this list, but hopefully there'll be some nice gappers tomorrow. By the way, quick note, Google, G-O-O-G-L, let's go to the daily. Um, closed at 12.11 and in after hours it's trading at uh, 12.55 so big gap up all-time highs for Google um, that might spark the uh, you know the tech sector um, the queue so we'll see um, it went as high as uh, over 12.80 so anyway that might get a get a rally going tomorrow and I'm gonna leave it at that I think I covered everything check the links down below um, discount on trade ideas, which is the uh, scanner that I use every single day. I wouldn't trade without it. Um, link to our free webinar. So there's some free content down below. And as I said before, um, the lifetime membership special is down below too. Um, I'm done babbling. See you guys tomorrow.